Good afternoon, everybody. TurboOptionTrading.com. One of the things that we have here is Priceline on a monthly chart. And Priceline is in an overbought area. What I really want people to understand in the volatility when it comes to trading the options is that um, there are a couple of things that really truly happen. And one of them uh, will be the following. The following is going to be the dollar movement in June. <clears throat> we had a $1,908 high. And we had a $1,781 low. Now, we are trading the options daily on Priceline. One of the other things that I want to say, Priceline had a $21 and 40 cent range on options expiration Friday, 6.23. The volume was only 359,000 shares. The negative money flow was sellers at $61 million. So basically you can see the movement that we had. We had an 18.55 low. The previous day's close was there and we had the 18.76 I. That's how we got the call options to work. And I'm going to show them to you now. And why you can make over 500%. We have a daily chart on Priceline. And I'm going to tell you that blue line is a 10-day simple moving average. The white line is a 50-day simple moving average. As far as your moving averages go. Right now, what I want to show everybody, that 10-day simple moving average crossed below the red line, the 20-day. The 50-day simple moving average, which is down here at 1839, that 10-day is flattening out right above it. This is going to be the current support. It's very important for people to see exactly why we made all the money in the TurboOptionTrading.com. Now we're going to take a look at the calls and puts on Priceline.com. The public doesn't know how to get the entry. We do. What I have right here is a 630. It was the 1855 call. So the low was 1855 on Friday. And we can see where the ranges were. But just let me tell you something else that's even more important. Is that one of the things you really, really need to know is the following. Over here, the calls were $8.47. That was the time to be a buyer. Priceline was oversold. It had a gap up, and that gap up in the contracts went to a high of 2180. Then they continued to go up to 28 dollars, and then on Friday for the expiration, they were very narrow range, uh, 2175 by 2590. So we're going to also show you this trade was right over here when the contracts were four dollars. And then the previous day high on them was twelve fifty. They continued to peak to nineteen dollars, and now they pulled back on six twenty three. That low in this call contract went down to eight dollars and nineteen cents. Ninety nine percent of you have never seen call charts or put charts because you haven't. Let's take a look at the price line put right here that is totally coming down from 24.40 on Friday to the low of 13.50 and we're going to look at trading those um, 18.75 puts as well. We're going to go to the 18.65 call and the calls were down here at 5.77. One day, the third day up here at $22.00. They peak at the high of 23.29, and then, my friends, they went down to the low of $13.10. Now, when we go ahead and take a look at the back end of the 1875 puts, these are very, very cheap, and they are. The put options were $37.90. Here we go, four days later from last week, and we hit a low of $10 on these put options. And that is out of the money 
18 65 foot so one other thing that we're going to want to show is up and out of the money and this is up and out of the money and it's the 1880 calls price line close at 1874 up here and what we're saying is that the high was 1550 and then the low on um, 623 Friday the low then there were 1370 on the high but they came down to six dollars and sixty cents and you know we're going to see if this value continues to go lower and that we do have all of the call side all of the put side I mean once again we take a look right here at the 1860 put which is below the market but it doesn't matter it's going to get deflated and we're going to end up buying them once again call charts put charts uh, daily price line uh, charts as far as the equity side on price line that we showed and whatnot and what is the probability of them smashing back down well I can tell you right now that the cheap side of it is to the put side that's the side that we're trading